This story appears in the May 31, 2021 issue of Forbes magazine. Subscribe A victorious swell of brass instruments reverberates across the 1,100-acre Epic Systems campus in Verona, Wisconsin, a sleepy suburb just outside Madison. It's February 2020, and except for China and a couple of ill-fated cruise ships, there are few signs of the coronavirus pandemic that's about to envelop the world. It's certainly business as usual at Epic. The familiar strains of a Baroque wedding march fill the hallways, stopping the healthcare software company's 10,700 employees in their tracks. On cue, a new customer announcement follows. Florida-based Advent Health plans to deploy Epic's electronic health record system across 37 of its hospitals. The full installation will take over three years and cost around $650 million, not counting ongoing maintenance, which will cost millions more annually. It's a very long relationship for many of our customers, Epic's founder and CEO, Judy Faulkner, says in a rare interview. She got the idea for the wedding theme from a visit to the Mayo Clinic several decades earlier, where she heard lullabies play whenever a new baby was born. A new customer didn't feel like a new baby, she says. It felt more like a wedding. Indeed, hospital executives are often more committed to Epic than most Americans are to their marriages. Epic's average customer has been using its software for 10 years, and Faulkner claims the company has never lost an inpatient hospital client, except in the case of an acquisition. Partly that's because it's so hard to leave. Epic's software helps manage a patient's entire journey, starting with scheduling an appointment, moving into the clinic or operating room as the doctor records allergies or x-rays and then to the back office for billing and follow-ups. It's a proprietary system that infamously doesn't play nicely with others. The company's product is generally referred to as an electronic health record, but its reach is far broader, including revenue cycle management, customer retention tools and data analytics. Epic's suite of offerings has proven particularly popular among large academic medical centers and children's hospitals, such as the Cleveland Clinic, Johns Hopkins and Boston Children's Hospital. The company's 564 customers represent nearly 2,400 hospitals worldwide and 225 million patients in the U.S., or about two-thirds of the country's population. This translated into more than $3.3 billion in revenue in 2020, despite what Faulkner estimates to be around $500 million in foregone revenue for COVID-related software it provided free of charge, including infection management tools and extensions for pop-up hospitals. It never seemed right to me to make money off COVID, she says. Her success has been decades in the making. Since Epic's founding in 1979, the 77-year-old Faulkner has steadfastly rejected outside investors, Wall Street financing and acquisitions, 